So here goes nothing because I haven't done this in so long. I don't even remember how. Also, what time of the day is it? Because why am I starting off with ramen? Yes, that's what we're making right now is ramen. Or is there another name for it? I think it's called like tan tan or dan dan. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just sauteing some bok choy in garlic and sesame oil as well as some leftover tofu. And if you guys remember me making um, like the creamy ramen with uh, oat milk, that's what I'm doing here. I'm only adding it to broth. And I also put some tahini. And of course, I added a ton of scallions because this wouldn't be a video by me if it didn't have onions in it. And then I just finish it off with some chili oil. And in case anyone is really confused right now, no, I did not start with dinner. I just eat really late in the day. I um, don't purposefully intermittent fast, but it just kind of happens naturally. And then later on, I decided to make hummus, which is not something I normally do. And while this step is optional, I like to first peel them just because, you know, it's going to make sure that you have a nice texture, meaning it's going to be like nice and smooth and it's not going to have a bunch of skins in it. So I do that by just rubbing it with like some kitchen towel and then yes, you have to pan pick all of these out. So totally acceptable if you don't do this, but what else am I doing? And then this is just as simple as adding this to your food processor with some tahini, lemon, salt, pepper. You can do a little cumin, a little garlic. And I do mean little because remember, we're not cooking this. So you're going to be eating raw garlic. A little bit goes a long way. Alternatively, you can use garlic powder or you can even roast it, make a roasted garlic hummus. But today I made roasted pepper because I had some in my refrigerator and I just had that with some celery and some pita chips. And honestly, I never eat hummus, but this is the one time I actually had um, a taste for it because I already had the pita chips. So I was like, well, why not? And uh, I guess that was dinner because now we're on to breakfast, which I just had a bagel with uh, my leftover cream cheese from the last video. This is chive. And you know, normally I like to go ham with the veggies, but I just added some tomatoes, a little fresh sea salt, red pepper flakes, and I had it with a side of cherries. Yes, I definitely have more than that. And then for lunch, I had a couple pita pizzas because apparently I bought a lot of pitas. I don't know how many came in that pack, but it had to have been a lot. I feel like these have been in like three episodes already. I try not to even buy bread, but as you can see, I've been failing miserably. Honestly, guys, all I really want is that pistachio pizza. It's my favorite combination, but this is what I had in my refrigerator. So that was that. Topped it with some basil, a little olive oil, lunch. Actually, no, that was dinner. And I also had um, some of the hibiscus sangria with that. Anyway, also had that apparently for breakfast with a little bit of toast because she was not feeling very creative this morning. She was just hungry. Yes, I am speaking of myself in the third person because I am a Gemini. Have you forgotten? There's two of us here. Oh, and then this was another interesting lunch, or at least I thought it was. I thought this was a dish that I had when I was raw. Apparently, again, I made it wrong because I was going off of memory and did not remember what I did. But here, I just shredded everything. And why I am doing this, I have no idea. This thing is dangerous. In fact, I've actually cut the tip of my thumb off making this exact recipe when I was at work one day. But I digress because what I was going to say is that I actually have a tool that does all of this for me. So why am I doing it by hand? But just in case any of you guys were curious and want to practice some knife skills, then that is how you make uh, matchsticks out of apples, apparently. And so this is a cabbage, apple and walnut salad. And I don't remember what kind of dressing I would normally use for this. I think just like an apple cider vinegar or something. But I decided to put together like a quick mustard vinaigrette which is literally the same thing, just you add mustard. Oh, and also there's some dates in here too. But I actually remember how I made this before was I made an apple salad and I put it into a cabbage like cup. If that makes any sense, probably not. And then eventually I had a parfait. And to that I added some golden kiwi, some hemp seeds, coconut flakes, almond slices. And this is tacos. This is like a supplement. I've showed it to you guys before in like a matcha drink. And this is for hair, skin, and nails. I don't take it very often because I actually forgot I owned it. I'm not even gonna lie. Top that with some mint. And I very much enjoyed that. The golden kiwi in here was delicious. 
I'm remembering this grilled cheese and tomato sandwich and this was literally so good I think I made it every day. Not only do you throw some tomato on there but you also put a little garlic, oregano, you gotta really season it up and I'm telling you, fire. this day I had some dessert and then the next morning I had another parfait oh my god honestly guys I have never eaten this much yogurt in my entire life uh maybe I was just going through like a phase this I added some fresh cherries walnuts sliced almonds and I think cacao nibs I also had some toast apparently because mm, carbs and I think that was the last of the grape jam I made that recipe is in a previous video so just check the description box and then this is just me making a grapefruit soda so I'm using sparkling water and then what is this <laughs> by the way these are so long ago guys okay so this was just fresh pineapple and dragon fruit i'm guessing some almond milk could be oat which I also topped with some pomegranate seeds and I had actually bought this pomegranate for a recipe and I still didn't make it so yeah anyway I used that to garnish and I saved the rest of the seeds for later and here I'm just showing you guys that once you deconstruct your fruit if you pour water into that bowl then it will make any of the pith rise and you can remove it from the seed so you don't get that like bitter taste and, and then here I'm just sauteing some peppers which I am not even using for this recipe so those probably went into the refrigerator as prep no i don't meal prep but i think i just wanted to save myself some time and probably some heat because getting freaking hot so while i had the stove going just did this quickly so yes i absolutely give myself an idea of what i want to cook so i'll either go grocery shopping first and then make a menu or make a menu and then go grocery shopping and i actually filmed like a grocery like shop with me kind of thing i'm just i need to edit that and I made a quick pesto and just like the hummus it's really simple just put that in your food processor with some garlic olive oil nutritional yeast and lemon juice salt pepper and it's really up to you if you want to do nuts or seeds but I'm actually using the vegan parmesan that I made in a previous video so it's already got cashews in it so I'm gonna add that to my pasta along with some of the cooking water from the pasta this step is key guys don't miss it this is what's gonna actually make a sauce that's gonna stick to your pasta so always reserve at least a quarter cup of the water and obviously more if you're making a larger batch and every so often I tell you guys hey if you try nothing else from this video then this this is the recipe you need to try well in this one this pesto is it and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye.